Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to work out how to convert times to decimals to work out your final pay packet, payroll, billable hours, etc. etc. So what we've got is we've got the total time work for the week, 33 hours and 30 minutes. And our hourly rate is £10.30. So we want to work out the total pay or the total billable amount. So you'd think you'd just say, well, that's the time that I've worked and then multiply it by my hourly rate. And I don't seem to get very much of a pay packet at the end of the week, £14.38 for 33 hours work. So that obviously isn't correct. Now, the trick to this is to understand what this time is. So times are stored as numbers. So for example, if I converted 12 to a number, because it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of a day. So what we need to do here is bearing in mind, this is in time format. If we took the time format off, you'd see that actually we've got 1.39. So 1.39 days. Now our rate is hourly, so we need to convert this to reflect that rate. If this was a day rate, this value would be fine, but no, this is an hourly rate. So over 24 hours in a day, so what we've got to do is multiply this by 24. So get a strange answer here, we've now got a better total pay. This looks a bit strange because it's still in the time format. So what we need to do is change it to number. And there we are, 33 and a half hours, as opposed to the time format, which was 33.30. That had a colon in because it was a time format. Now it's a decimal format. I didn't have to do that, but it makes much more sense if I've done it. And I'm getting the right total pay here. So the key there was to multiply it by 24, 24 hours in a day, and then I get the correct total pay. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training.